Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of Seth's Diaries. Um, more than two weeks in ako guys na hindi nakapag-vlog. Um, kasi my uh, youngest child got sick. So, she got infected with dengue. And it was a severe dengue case. So, hindi siya biro. So, syempre as a mom, I had to focus on her muna until she's fully recovered. And thank God, sobrang magaling na siya. She's active na uli and she eats well. So I'm doing this vlog guys to share with you how she was able to beat this life-threatening disease without being hospitalized. But before that, let me just give you a quick background of what dengue is. So we all know naman that dengue, also known as dengue fever, is a viral infectious disease transmitted by the mosquito bites. So when the mosquito bites the person with dengue fever, uh, the mosquito becomes infected with the virus that causes the disease. It's not contagious because it cannot spread from person to person. So the mosquito can spread the virus to the other people by biting them. Dengue fever used to be called breakbone fever. Kasi nga nagkakos siya ng muscle pain. Though it's not actually breaking any bones, pero, pero parang ganun daw minsan yung feeling. So parang hindi ko ma-imagine na na-experience na ng anak ko. Symptoms of dengue fever daw develop within 4 to 7 days after the mosquito bite and last for up to 10 days. The most common symptoms of dengue are fever, nausea, vomiting, severe headache, muscle, joint, and bone pain, and skin rash. Sa case ng daughter ko, it started with the fever. That was evening of May 13, nagising ako na anak ko may fever. And uh, her temperature was extremely high. It was 39.5 degrees Celsius. So syempre ako, nagpanik ako. What went through my mind was, is it COVID or is it something else? Kasi syempre, um, in this current situation, yun agad ang may isip mo eh. Pero wala naman siyang ubod sipon. Almost every minute, I, I check on her. Nahihirapan ko siyang uminga. Did she feel something else? Sabi naman niya wala. But when I check her throat, it looks a bit inflamed for me. So hindi mo wala sa mind ko yung possibility that it might be COVID. So from there, um, nag-self-medication kami. So syempre, pinag-steam ko siya. Pinag-gargle ko siya ng warm water with, with salt for, for her throat. And we increased her water intake and syempre yung vitamin C. So her fever returned every 4 to 6 hours for the first 3 days and the temperature was in the range of 38.9 to 39.5. On the second day, she complained about stomach pain and she went to the restroom twice. So I thought may nakain lang siya na hindi maganda sa chan kasi nagsuka din siya at the same time. On the fourth day, umuke siya, that was May 16, hindi siya nag-fever the whole day. But on the fifth day, the fever came back. She lost her appetite. All she wanted to do was curl up in bed at kumigising lang siya when it's time to take her medicine for fever. And on that day, she started to have rashes on her legs. Pero sobrang konti lang siya na hindi mo siya halos notice. That day, I decided to contact her doctor na to secure an appointment kasi sobrang matamlay na siya eh. However, uh, the next day pa yung nakuha namin appointment. So that was May 18 and that's already her 6th day. That day uli, wala na naman siyang fever. Pero syempre, tinulay pa rin namin yung checkup just to make sure na rin. The first diagnosis was, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it was enteroviral infection with exanthem. So she has been advised to take supportive measures for the next 3 days. The doctor recommended nothing but this product. It's called Genesis. It's a healthy aging formula bursting with antioxidants and nutrients needed to help protect our body cells, revitalizing their longevity and our energy levels. By combining herbs, superfoods, and the groundbreaking Extranol 24, Genesis supports continued cellular health. The prescribed dosage for my daughter was 30 ml 4 times a day until this 1 liter bottle is consumed. This can be taken pure with water, with or without food. So 3 hours guys after my daughter's online consultation with, uh, with her doctor, we've noticed a bleeding from her nose. So I informed the doctor straight away and she told me to get uh, this product ASAP. 
Because according to her, she have observed this product to stop bleeding anywhere. So right there and then, pumunta ako sa bahay ni doktora at binili ko to. At pagdating ko sa bahay, pinatake ko kaagad sa anak ko yung 30 ml as prescribed. The next day, May 19, I've noticed na yung rashes niya, iba na yung itsura. Mas naging mapula siya, mas dumami siya. Pero ganun pa rin sa mga legs lang siya. Sabi ko parang there's something, parang there's something sa rashes niya. Kasi when I press it, it blanched. And nagko-complain na din siya ng leg pain during that time. So I took the picture of the rashes, I sent it to the doctor through Viber. Sa mga hindi nakakalam nga pala guys, warning signs of severe dengue usually begin within 24 to 48 hours after the fever has gone away. Sa ibang sakit, pag nawala na yung fever ng isang tao or, or ng isang pasyente, it means na okay na siya. But that's not the case with dengue. Take note of that guys. So what are these warning signs that you should look for? Number one, belly pain, tenderness, vomiting at least three times in 24 hours, bleeding from the nose or gums, which is yung nangyari sa anak ko, vomiting blood or blood in the stool, feeling tired and restless. Please take note guys that severe dengue is a medical emergency. It requires immediate medical care. So if you have those warning signs, go to the hospital immediately as this can be life-threatening. So nung pinakita ko sa doktor ng anak ko yung itsura ng rash niya, she called me right away and she said it looks like dengue rash nga daw. Pero in naman niya sa amin na there's nothing to worry about kasi during that time, hindi na matamla yung daughter ko and she eats well na. So, sabi ni doktora, yun ang pinaka-importante. Pero sabi niya, para mapanatag ako, pina-request niya pa rin for laboratory test. So, based on the result of the test, the, the platelet count of my daughter was borderline low. So, if we have done the test before she took the genesis, it would have been lower. Hence, the bleeding. So, the advice was to finish up the battle of genesis in 2 to 3 days from the time she started it. And then, add another bottle for another 3 days. So she can recover quite well. And then sabi niya, it takes one more week for the blood findings in dengue to stabilize after fever goes down. Kaya hindi pwedeng mapagod yung pasyente. And this genesis though guys, helps the bone marrow job producing blood elements like red blood cells and platelets. So ayun, continuous lang yung pag-take ng anak ko nito. And syempre, um, more rest and more water. Pero guys, yung pang 10th day niya, that was May 23, Nagpanik na naman ako kasi yung body temperature niya nag-drop siya ng 35.4. That was around uh, 3 o'clock p.m. So sobrang init ng panahon. Lahat kami sa bahay, ang body temperature was around 36.4 to 36.6. Tangi siya lang ang 35.4. So I called her doctor again kasi nabasa ko guys, ang isang taong may dengue, once na nag-drop ang body temperature, there's a possibility na meron siyang internal bleeding. So ako sobrang nagpanik. I called the doctor at sinabi ko nga sa kanya na yung body temperature ng anak ko nag-drop ng 35.4. But then again, inassure ulit sa amin ng doctor that there's that there's nothing to worry about. Kasi yun nga, my daughter is active naman and she eats well. And yun nga, sabi niya, as long as we have this genesis, there's nothing to worry about. Pero she advised us to do the, the second lab test para to make sure na rin. And, um, and then, she also told us to increase the dosage of the Genesis, one half cup, three times a day. So, that day, pumunta agad kami sa malapit na clinic for, for, the, for the second lab test. So, after 30 minutes, nakuha namin yung result ng, ng lab test. At sobrang natuwa ako sa result kasi in 3 days pa lang na tinitake niya itong supplement. Yung platelet count niya na from 140, 3 days ago, naging 306 na agad. So, I was relieved kasi that means nalagpasan na niya yung worst episodes ng dengue. So, I'm so thankful to God na hindi niya pinabayaang mapahamak yung anak ko at ginamit ng instruments si doktora para pagalingin yung anak ko sa pamamagitan ng product na to. To be honest, sobrang na-amaze ako sa product na to. Hindi ko ma-imagine ng isang batang uh, nakaranas ng severe dengue case makaka-survive sa bahay lang just by, you know, just by taking this food supplement. My eldest son, he, he also got infected with dengue. That was seven years ago. He got hospitalized. So during that time, hindi pa to si doktora yung doktor ng mga anak ko. Kaya mula nang nakalala namin to si Doktora, never nang uh, nakatikim ng gamot ang mga anak ko, even antibiotics, sa kahit anong klase ng sakit. Um, Butsipon, lagnat, 
tonsillitis, UTI, or kahit ano pang mga kahit ano pang sakit, never kasi siya nagre-reseta guys ng, ng ng gamot or antibiotics kasi she's um, a natural healing advocate. So kung kung sino sa inyo ang gusto mag-try mag magpa-consult uh, kay doktora, just leave your comments. Okay? So, mag-ingat tayong lahat guys, especially the kids. Ingatan natin silang mag magkasakit. Kasi napakahirap para sa ating mga magulang pag may, isa sa, pag may nagkakasakit sa isa sa mga anak natin. And let's not forget guys, na hindi lang COVID-19 ang, ang kailangan nating iwasan. Meron pang mga ibang sakit na pwedeng tumama sa atin. At isa na nga yung dengue. And dengue is commonly found in tropical and warm areas and become more active from dawn till dusk. Lalo ngayong summer guys, so prone tayo lahat sa dengue. And so let's avoid getting beaten by the mosquitoes. So these tips guys may help reduce your risk of mosquito bites. Number one, stay in air-conditioned or well-screened place. Wear protective clothing, use mosquito repellent, and reduce mosquito habitat. So make sure na laging malinis ang surroundings. If you have questions guys about this product, just leave your comments down below. And if you think that this video is informative, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You can share this to your friends. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much again for watching guys. Hope to see you again next time.